I decided to use the malachite. It's really pretty. Um, <clears throat> And this is, again, I've, you know, already pre-scrubbed pre all of this and um, did a very, well, I didn't scuff sand this side, um, any of this stuff, but I did a real quick scuff sand down the, down the legs and, <clears throat> and all of that. So, and you wouldn't have to do any of that. Now, if I was painting this in a really light, color um, alabaster or snow or any of those lighter colors I would um, I would have primed you probably don't have to um, but I I would just prime if I'm going to use one of the lighter colors I almost always always prime uh, because I don't want that um, any of that color sneaking through in in something that I've painted in a crisp white or a <clears throat> really pale gray or anything like that so I'm gonna put this first coat on and I'm doing this while I'm waiting for um, my second coat of um, the light wood reticket to dry on the top. And and then when I come back in and do the second coat of malachite, I will either have a little uh, cup of water that I can dip my brush in, or. I will have a little misting spray bottle um, and I will just very lightly mist my paint and it will help it to just go on uh, really, really smooth, no brush strokes, no nothing. So. And in here, I love the detail. It really stands out. As soon as you throw some paint on there, you really see that, that little piece there. Um, so I'm not gonna try to get my paint crammed down in there. I'm just gonna leave it just like it, like it is. So yeah, that is one coat of malachite. It is the um, the Renaissance furniture paint, uh, retique it, chalk style paint. Um, it has the it's the same paint. Um, anyways, I will start. 